Hi, my name's Carla Leenders. I'm a personal stylist at The Glass Slipper and I'm going to show you how to style your wardrobe. And now I'm going to show you how to care for a cashmere jumper. If you've gone to the trouble of investing in cashmere, you want to make sure you look after it. So that means no throwing it in the washing machine with the rest of your washing. Even if it goes on a really cool temperature, it can really ruin your cashmere. For best results, make sure that you hand wash your cashmere. Do it very gently with a specialist fabric cleaner. So don't use just your normal detergent. There are specialist fabric cleaners on the market that are made especially for cashmere and for delicates like silk, and you want to use one of those. Massage it gently in the water, don't pull it or squeeze it, and then when you take it out of the water, just rinse it in some very tepid water. Don't put any fabric conditioner onto it as this can uh, make the fabric sticky and stop it from being all nice and fluffy. Very gently squeeze the water out of it. Never ever put it into a spin dryer as, it, as that can make it lose its shape. And don't put it into a tumble dryer. For best results, dry it on a flat surface and just leave it to dry. Don't put it anywhere near a really hot radiator and try and speed the process up. Once your garment's actually dry, iron it with a very cool iron. Anything hotter and you may end up burning the fabric and taking the fluff off the fabric as well. For best results, use something like a clothes brush to get any little bits of lint off of your garment. This will also help to take off any little fuzzy balls that may have collected. Cashmere is notorious for peeling, and peeling is this little bobbling that happens under the arm, on the elbows, and anywhere that your body comes into contact. So, for example, where your arms might be swimming, swinging next to the hips or the waistline of a jumper. For best results, use one of these. This is a bobble defuzzer and it will take any little bobbles and any little snags off of your sweater but be very careful. Lay your garment onto a flat surface and then just use the defuzzer in a circular motion. Don't press too hard as it can cause snags in the garment and you may end up getting holes. Once your garment's perfectly laundered, fold it correctly and store it in your cupboard with some mothballs to make sure that those moths don't get in it. And that's how you care for a cashmere jumper. <laughs>